Hello YouTube, this is Andrew here doing a screencast on my Dell XPS 13 that has um, that has Ubuntu 12.13 sorry 13.4 installed <coughs> and I have installed Compiz so I have wobbly windows and if I press or minimize it gets sucked in same as it does in a Mac so shoop. And if I go, um, because I have installed um, installed the Unity Tweak tool, I have um, hot corners too. So if I go up here, I can see everything I have opened at once. And down here, I can see all the um, all the workspaces. I can drag things between workspaces and grab this and move it over there if I want. Put that over there and can go between them with. It um, has keyboard shortcuts too, as well as keyboard shortcuts for the hot corners too. Because <coughs> I just saw in the, oh as well, um, in the Unity Tweet tool there's a bunch of stuff that you can go ahead and customize too, that, uh, that you are not able to uh, by default. I recommend first off changing, changing, changing in the default icons and theme because they're awful. Um, so my favorite is is Facens. I'm not sure how we say that. Um, Facens theme and Facens for the icons too because the default themes are awful. Um, I got these from here. Noob is is noobslab.com themes and um, this is the one here uh, where is it Facens so it's for it's it is it it it's for GNOME 3 and Unity as well and um, Cinnamon 2 I think so yeah unless you just type in these these commands in terminal and it's all good <coughs> so yes, this is the, the, this is the Dell XPS 13, it 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 developer edition. So this comes pre-installed with pre-installed with 12.04, and this is supported up until 2017. Because um, I saw on the news recently how Apple is in trouble because it's avoiding paying tax, which is quite common among businesses but they've been found out so they're in trouble so I thought it was quite an interesting now I did have a I was I found a good story about it on Forbes oh well I'll just Apple here we go so yeah you know if you are if you are if you are a big company of course, it's in your interest to go and take advantage of tax laws in various countries because you are multinational and sorry because you are multinational and why not? You know, it's it is not against the law, but um, because Apple's so big, you know, and profitable, they'd be in trouble with that. But anyway, um, I was thinking, you know, since since Ubuntu. Um, has come so far as a platform why would you get a Mac these days because if that's if you want a Mac like sort of performance and interaction this machine here I think is a way to go in in my in um in my opinion it's um very similar to a MacBook Air but it's open source it's it's um a free operating system so if it goes wrong you just you know Go ahead and download again, and write it to a USB. Install it again, and you know you pick the 64-bit option here because that is it. Because um, it's a 64-bit machine, and um, it 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 um has updates until 2017, and you know it's, it is not as controlling as Apple is. You can do as you want with your machine because it, it it is your machine. It has no secure boot. 
Although I'm not sure about that because I think this is based on a Windows on a Windows 8 laptop and they're quite annoying with the secure boot but um I think Linux has found a way around that these days but um as I said I have a Dell XPS 13 as well which I'm doing this on now but mine is the previous edition that came out first and mine only has 4 gigs of RAM this has this has twice that <coughs> mine has mine has the second mine has a second gen processor and mine is mine is 720p and mine has a has Intel 3000 graphics but it, it does have the same amount of, of um, gigs for 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 source state drive same amount of ports and same size I mean even though mine is not as good not as good as this machine it really I mean I I'm studying I am I'm studying IT and um, it's a beautiful machine you can do so much more in Linux than you can in Windows for starters you know you have you have the command line I know that in Windows you have um, you have command prompt but it's, it's not as um, you, it's, you can't do as much as you can in in this one here the only thing is that in 13.04 sometimes there are a lot of error messages that come up but you can be, but you can turn those off by typing in this command here which I will show you in a bigger view this is word 2010 which is being run through wine I've installed through through play on Linux <coughs> and um, it works fine for me I mean some people say that they have a crash on them and um, but for me it's been fine you know so anyway going to um, terminal type this sudo space get it which is a text editor then slash slash etc slash default slash a port which I think is the error sort of messaging um, program or something that tells you if things have gone wrong so you open that type in password and pretty much all you have to do, this is it here, it's just a file if you change, this will be a 1 change that to 0 then you press save and the you've turned off the off the off the error off the off the error and messages now it's very useful because they can be quite annoying and um, yeah as well in 13.04 um, they have it, it they they have a cloud now they have Ubuntu one which is the same thing same I think as the iCloud and it gives you five gigs free storage and and you set it up and stuff you tell it you know how much you want I mean you, you tell it the files you want to sync I see it's um it's gathering information now <coughs> I haven't synced synced to my documents, pictures, and and a default folder. Every time you change something in these folders, it automatically updates. I'll show you, for example, I'll just copy this picture and I'll paste it in my documents folder. And you just to see here, see what happens. It will update. See, bam, updated. That's how fast it is. You know, it's ridiculous. And this shows you here. This symbol here shows you that it. Is being uploaded now, and you can see even here as well that is uploaded. And um, it's the same thing as Dropbox, but um, for Ubuntu only. And um, you can go to the website for Ubuntu One as well and download things from there. Um, this one here. Like if you have a Windows PC or if you have a Macintosh, you can go and download documents from the website. I think I might have um have a program that can be stored in a Windows or a Mac PC as well that allows you to sync. I'm not sure about that, but you just 
sign on there <coughs> you have steam as well for Linux which came out recently there's my account is signing on now won't be long anyway and you have um I, I have installed I have installed shutter which allows me to take screenshots of sections I can do that and that's saved here and I can go ahead and save that I have a different one here and the same thing they can do in macOS as well it's take a while to sign on here not sure why that is, normally it's fine, it signs on and away you go see it's synchronized at that screenshot I took just then as well oh, there we go there's steam and it goes into big picture mode as well but I won't do, do that now because it will be annoying for my screencast anyway I'm just saying you know you you have word 2010 here you have everything that you could want in an, in a free and open source system and this machine really is beautiful I mean I wish I waited a little bit longer to get this one because it has full HD third gen Intel I mean 8 gigs of RAM I mean Intel 4000, look how tiny it is, it's, it's miniature, I mean if you store this in reality it really is a tiny machine this is the um, size here and it's tiny um, anyway feel free to post a comment and thank you for watching